Well, I've been coming out in the morning before work and then oftentimes about six or so in the afternoon after work, I'll come out and play on my barn project. That's why this is after work projects. I do have all my roof joists, purlins, rafters, whatever they're called, and this end cap, a band joist or a band rafter, have those on on both sides. So I think I'm pretty close to putting 10 on. I've had to adapt a couple of these uh, railroad ties. You know, not everything is square when you use ties. So I have had to take my little adds or hatchet, whatever it is, kind of square some of that stuff up. But I think I have most of that done as well. And this is the east side. I've got it pretty well buttoned up. I'm kind of thinking. So it's kind of stormy off to the west. We had a pretty good shower last night, so the ground is pretty damp. But it's kind of building again. When we have these hot days, these afternoon thunder showers are kind of a common thing. Might be building. We've got a wind that's pretty much straight out of the north. I'm not sure how far I'm going to get this evening or not. But they're real interesting cloud formations. This looks like there's a lot of activity up there. So I've got this J trim. I'm going to stick up right inside this corner of the original barn. My tent will fit inside it. And then around the bottom, all the way around, I'm going to put on this kind of a base shoe. It's going to fit right up against what's on this other building. So I'll see if I can get some of this stuff installed, maybe before I get rained out. Well, I didn't make it, but about five minutes, and I don't know if you can hear it on the tin. I don't know if it's going to set in for good. I'll give it a little bit and kind of see what happens. Yeah, I need to pull the plastic protective coating off of both of these parts anyway, so maybe that's a good time to do that. Coming in enough from the north, it's even coming in the door here. Whatever the weather is, it's just nice being out of town. Well, the sun's trying to poke its way out. Still got a kind of a light sprinkle. This is to the west. So now the bulk of the clouds are to the east of us, and you can see the rainbow. We have a full... Hear the thunder talking? Got a full rainbow to the east. Yeah, I think it's going to break. Metal arcs are singing. Made the grass nice and wet. going to fall on my head, isn't it? My marks got all wet there. Decided to get a little more serious before I gave up. That really brightened up the rainbow. You can see I almost have the start of a double rainbow. Wonder if our few cows know that the rainbow is sitting right on top of them. Right there on the horizon. 
Yeah, to the west, she's starting to break up. Well, another pretty day, early morning. We're supposed to be low, low 90s, mid 90s in there somewhere. I did give up the other evening. Oh, about 8.30, the, the rain finally quit, but I just packed her in and went home. We'll try again today. It's supposed to be pretty nice and clear. So I got some more trim work to do, and we're gonna see if we can put up some of the tin today. Well, cows are down for water this morning. How are you guys? Nice, calm, quiet day.
pretty long day. We did get the southwest and west side done and we got this what would be the northeast side done for the siding. We still have to put the roofing material on. And then this would be the southeast side and of course yesterday we did the southwest side. We worked until about six o'clock and then the wind really kind of picked up. There were some storms that were running through so we quit and then this morning we came out and put this side on. So there is some shade difference between this old sun weathered tin and this new tin and I don't know if it's exactly the same color match. It was the best we could come up with and so I expected there would be some differences in shade but like I tell my friends it's a barn. It'll work. And this side that faces east is protected both from the southwest wind and the northwest wind, which are the strongest weather winds. And this is where I'm thinking I'm going to put my mowing machine and my baler, uh, my backhoe, all that's going to fit into this side, possibly, probably my bobcat as well. But the overall style, the roof line, this is what I kind of had envisioned in my mind, so I am kind of liking it. I think maybe next weekend, we'll see how it goes, we may tackle the roofing material. There's some drip edge and you know some type of flashing that I have to hunt up to finish that. And I need a little more tin to face off the truss on this left side of the building. But we're gaining. I'm looking forward to putting the, the roofing tin on. So I'll get this truss faced off with a similar tin. This will be a really nice usable bay. Kind of liking how it's coming along. It's kind of what I've had envisioned in my mind and to actually see it come together. I'm happy with how it's coming along. Appreciate you following these projects that I do after work. Thanks for watching. <laughs>